everyone, my name is Crystal. I am customer support at Owlcrate and today we thought it would be fun to do a bookshelf tour of my little library. Uh, it's nowhere near the size of Corey's or Karina's, but um, it is lots of fun. So everyone organizes their bookshelves a little differently, sometimes it's alphabetical or by genre. Uh, mine are just organized the way that I like them. I have a little like childhood favorites and middle grade shelf kind of a little TBR tucked in there and a shelf we're not gonna see over there that's just a mess. Um, so without further ado let's get to it. Amulet, the Stone Keeper, the Stone Keeper's Curse, the Cloud Searchers, the Last Council, Prince of the Elves, Escape from Lucian, Firelight, Daisy Cutter, The Last Train, all by Kazuki Buishi, The Chronicles of Pryden, The Book of Three, The Black Cauldron, the Castle of Lear, Terran Wanderer, and the High King by Lloyd Alexander, The Once and Future King by T.H. White, King of the Wind by Margaret Henry, Two Against the North by Farley Mowat, Book Scavenger, Jennifer Chambliss Bertman, The Magic Misfits by Neil Patrick Harris, Murder Most Unladylike, and Arsenic for Tea by Robin Stevens, The World's Greatest Detective by Caroline Carlson, The Star Thief by Lindsay Becker, Be Light Like a Bird by Monica Schroeder, down the Mr. Lee River by Bill Willingham, Peter Pan by J.M. Barry, The Little Prince by Antoine de saint Exupéry, The Time Machine by H.G. Wells, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll, Sleepy Hollow and Other Short Stories by Washington Irving, Dipper and Mabel and the Curse of the Time Pirate's Treasure, a Gravity Falls book, Peter and Max by Bill Willingham, The Crowns of Crosswald by D.E. Knight, Ink and Bone, Paper and Fire, Ash and Quill, all by Rachel Kane. Love Fortunes and Other Disasters. Love Charms and Other Catastrophes, both by Kimberly Corallius. Paper Towns, An Abundance of Catherines, both by John Green, Stardust. Fortunately the Milk, both by Neil Gaiman. Worlds of Ink and Shadow, by Lena Coakley. Shades of Grey, The Air Affair, The Big Over Easy, and The Fourth Bear, all by Jasper Ford. Northanger Abbey, by Val McDermott. Lost in Austin, by Emma Campbell Webster. Romeo and or Juliet by Ryan North. Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are Dead by Tom Stoppard. My Harry Potter collection with two complete series of Harry Potter and then some. So the little extra bits I have in this section are a collection of Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom bookmarks and a bunch of V.E. Schwab inspired bookmarks and they're all from Happy Hello. I also have Red London and and Ketterdam postcards, and these are from Wanderlit Company. Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom, both by Lee Bardugo, The Archived, The Unbound, Vicious, The Savage Song, Our Dark Duet, A Darker Shade of Magic, A Darker Shade of Magic, A Gathering of Shadows, A Conjuring of Light, all by V.E. Schwab. I also have some Shades of Magic tarot cards that I got from Shelf Love Crate. The Slow Regard of Silent Things by Patrick Rothfuss. Meddling Kids by Edgar Cantero. The Diabolic, S.J. Kincaid, Heartless by Marissa Meyer, Caraval by Stephanie Garber, Night Film by Marisha Pessel, The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern, The Fire and Stars by Audrey Colthurst, Roseblood by A.G. Howard, Eliza and Her Monsters by Francesca Zappia, The Sandcastle Empire by Kayla Olson, The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee, The Hearts We Sold by Emily Lloyd-Jones, Wild Beauty by Anna Marie McLemore, The Glass Bear by Lauren Stefano. The Cruel Prince by Holly Black, My Lady Jane by Cynthia Hand, Brody Ashton, and Jody Meadows, Before She Ignites by Jody Meadows, Three Dark Crowns by Kendara Blake, and One Dark Throne by Kendara Blake, Daughter of the Pirate King, and Daughter of the Siren Queen by Trisha Levenseller, Rook, The Forgetting, and The Knowing, all by Sharon Cameron, A Monster Calls, More Than This, The Rest of Us Just Live Here, and Release, all by Patrick Ness, The Haters, me and Earl and the Dying Girl, all by Jesse Andrews. So the extra bits on the shelf are the archives, a candle I got from Frostbeard Studios, a random Boba Fett postcard that I got from Comic-Con, and a small or large selection of book bows. The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss, William Shakespeare's Star Wars by Ian Dosher, Star Wars from a Certain Point of View, a collection of Star Wars stories by many authors. Across the Universe by Beth Revis. Tell Me Three Things, What to Say Next, 
both by Julie Buxbaum. The only thing worse than me is you. Not now, not ever. Both by Lily Anderson. Cinemaps, an atlas of 35 great movies by Andrew DeGraff and A.D. Jameson. So the extras on this shelf are a teeny tiny little TARDIS and a little glow in the dark potion bottle I got with my copy of Crowns of Crosswald and a little owl piggy bank. Girl on a Wire, Girl in the Shadows, Lois Lane Fallout, Lois Lane Double Down, and Lois Lane Triple Threat, all by Gwenda Bond. Investigating Lois Lane, The Turbulent History of the Daily Planet's Ace Reporter, Wonder Woman Unbound, The Curious History of the World's Most Famous Heroine, The Many Lives of Catwoman, The Felonious History of a Feline Fatale, and all of those are by Tim Hanley. So some of the extras I have on the shelf are from Owl Crate. Um, I have the Novel Lior's Candles from the April 2017 box. I have Baz and Simon, Park and Eleanor, and Levi and Kath. I also have a candle that was in our October Into the Forest box from In the Wick of Time, and it smells like Cabe's water. I have the Son of Poseidon bath salt from the Soap Librarian, and I have a Rapunzel bracelet from the January 2018 Owl Grape I also have a selection of cute little bookmarks from Happy Hello for my Rainbow Rowell books, my Laura Jean books, and for Geekerella as well. Almost Midnight, Kindred Spirits, Fangirl, Carry On, and Eleanor and Park by All by Rainbow Rowell. To all the boys I've loved before, P.S. I Still Love You, Always and Forever Laura Jean, All by Jenny Han. Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda, and The Upside of Unrequited, both by Becky Abertelli. Everything Everything, The Sun is Also a Star, both by Nicola Yoon. Autobiography by Christina Lauren. Love and Gelato by Jenna Evans Welch. The Statistical Probability of Love at First Sight by Jennifer E. Smith. Geekerella by Ashley Poston. P.S. I Like You by Casey West. The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson. Wink Poppy Midnight by April Genevieve Tukolk. The Movie Version by Emma Wunsch. The only extra on the shelf is my e-reader, which is just full of good stuff. Choose Your Own Autobiography by Neil Patrick Harris. Not Safe After Dark and Other Stories by Peter Robinson. The Inheritor's Powder. A Tale of Arsenic, Murder, and the New Forensic Science by Sandra Hempel. Every Day by David Levithan. A Little Something Different by Sandy Hall. The Museum of Heartbreak by Meg Leader. Mosquito Land by David Arnold. The Girl Who Circumnavigated Fairyland and a Ship of Her Own Making by Catherine M. Valente. Graceling by Kristen Kishore. The Accidental Afterlife of Thomas Marsden by Emma Trevane. Thanks for the Trouble by Tommy Wallach. Everless by Sarah Holland. Zenith, the Andrama Saga by Sasha Alsberg and Lindsay Cummings. When We Collided by Emery Lord. A Street Cat Named Bob by James Bowen. The Scorpio Races by Maggie Steve Otter. Ship It by Britta London. When Dimple Met Rishi by Sanjia Menon. Suitors and Sabotage by Cindy Anstey. The Hundred Lies of Lizzie Lovett by Chelsea Sedoti. The Dark Days Club by Alison Goodman. Cure for the Common Universe by Kristen McKay Heidecker. Pride and Prejudice and Mistletoe by Melissa De La Cruz. New World Rising by Jennifer Wilson. And Firebug by Lish McBride. So that's that. I hope you enjoyed a tour of my cozy little library. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Owl Crate puts up videos every Wednesday and Saturday. I know our usual sign off is happy reading and thanks for being awesome, but if you've sent in an email to support, you know that it's always thanks so much and happy reading.